Hey guys, hope you guys are all staying safe and home if you can during this crazy time. I thought I would just come on here and give you guys a little bit of like a breather, I hope. Like I don't wanna talk about everything that's crazy that's going on in the world. I'm sure like everyone is inundated with it. And yeah, I just think it's important to stay informed, but at the same time, it's important to take a break. So this is my sneaker collection, guys. Um, I am not a sneakerhead, like whatsoever. Um, I just like what I like, so. Yeah, I don't know about new releases. I don't really know how things do on like the resale market. So if you're coming here looking for like a like cool, like super hypey hype hype sneaker collection, this isn't it. But I do have some really cool stuff in here. So I'd love to if you guys would stay and watch. And also if you haven't subscribed, I would absolutely love to have you. I post weekly outfit style lifestyle videos. So I decided to divide this up into brands because I just found it a little bit easier to organize like my brain like this. And I wear a lot of sneakers. I work from home. I'm constantly just like wanting to stay comfy. This like grout fit sweatpants look is not just because of the situation we're in right now. Like this is what I wear day to day. So let's start with Nike. Nike is like my first love. Like I love Nike. I've been wearing Nike shoes since I was literally a teeny baby. I want to show you guys my go-tos first. In the sneaker world, I think these are called beaters. Um, but these are my Air Force One low tops. I actually picked these up at Kith in Miami because I was due for a new one. Before I got a woman's pair, I actually had a children's pair because I wear size six and a half women's, which means that I fit into a lot of boys youth shoes, which means that I can get sneakers for quite a deal. So if you have a small foot like me, try going into the children's section because you are gonna luck out there. Your tax less in children's section, you can save Quite a bit of money. I love these. If I had to pick one sneaker out of like all these, um, just in like a capsule wardrobe or something, it would definitely be these because you could wear them with dresses, you could wear them with trousers, you could wear them with sweats. Like they're just so versatile and they're really, really comfortable. Moving on to my next Nike pair. These are my Vapor Max. I was saying they were like a little expensive for like just a regular working out shoe, but like. They're quite expensive for just a regular exercise shoe. You do not need to go this hard, but I love my triple white Vapor Maxes. I actually got these as a gift for my birthday um, and they are awesome. They're awesome. I don't know like how else to describe them. They're great. I have these and these were from the children's section. They are my high top, high top, high top Air Force Ones in like red and off white with like the gum sole. It's just like so, freaking cute. I think that these look like some like designer collab, you know what I mean? Like they look way more expensive than I got them for because I got them for literally like $20 at the outlet and they're so cute. The only thing is because they're high top, I find them really annoying to take on and off. So I don't wear them as much, but they definitely are like a statement shoe. Like if you are trying to set a vibe, shoes like this, like these are really, really cool. And final Nike shoe is actually probably my most recent shoe. I got these for Miami and they were also from the outlet. So I spent about $80 on them. So they're still a little bit expensive, but they are Nike Cortez. Um, I find that Nike Cortez, like they look kind of weird on my foot. Like I do love the style. Um, these remind me of, she's wearing like a pink pair of Nike Cortez at the end of Cinderella story. And I think that these like just, they're so fun. Like. This is like the perfect shoe for Miami, which is why I wore them when I was there. These are really, really cute. I think they look good with just a pair of like biker shorts and an oversized tee. That's how I like to wear them. I think they're really, really adorable. Moving on, I'm gonna do like the one-off shoes. I have like three pairs of like shoes that are all from different brands. So this is like the wild card. They're all really, really cool, really, really special. First pair I got, I actually got these also as a gift and they are my Fila Disruptors. I got these in the middle of all the hype and they are so comfortable. I've traveled in these and they're amazing. Um, they go with like dresses, they go with everything. I think the reason why I'm not wearing them as much right now is cause like, I really like, I, I over, I overdid these. Like I really killed these and like, um, they're really cool. They're not really cool right now, but they're cool. I still like them. That's why I keep them. I think they're great. They're a white sneaker. Like how can you go wrong? Next one I have here. These actually were gifted to me from Reebok and we actually went to an event where we customize them. So they say Rach speed on them. I think they're so cool. I also love that all my friends and I, we all have them cause we all, were like collaborating with Reebok at the time. And I think that like, not only are these just like so classic, they are so comfortable. I think that these are probably my most comfortable sneaker. 
I'm not just saying that, like they really, really are. Like honestly, I've never had a pair of Reeboks. This is my first pair and they are so cool. But when these give out, I will definitely purchase these again because they are so amazing and so comfortable. And then the last wild card shoe I wanna show you guys is my, what are these called? Like Vans Skate Highs, I believe. And these are the platform version. So they give you quite a bit of height. And I wore these all over LA when I was there, like last year or the year before. They are really, really cool. These were actually gifted to me from Vans. And I would have definitely bought these with my own money as well, but they are just, they're sick. Like, like they just go with every outfit and make every outfit look a little bit cooler. Um, at the time, everyone was wearing the Vans with like the flames and stuff like that, but I just like could not go that hard, guys. Like this is, this is where, this is the comfort level here. But yeah, if you're looking at a pair of Vans right now, look at like the platform ones. I see Hailey Bieber wearing these a lot too, and they look really, really good. And then we are going to finish with some of my basic converse so i divided these into basic converse and then like i have like some designer collaborations which i'm really excited to show you guys but let's just get into the basics first pair i purchased these when i was in new york and i really wanted these for a while my friend annie was wearing them and i was like i think we we'll have to do it they're just so cute. Um, they are just my Chuck 70s and they are like, the one thing about the Chuck 70s versus the regular like Converse is that the um, sole is just a little bit more like off white and like it just looks slightly more vintage vers versus the regular Converse which are super, super white. So I love these. Like I wore them all over New York when we were there and they're just amazing. We all have a pair. I also have the low top in black and white and these are so beat up because i've had them for years but these are something like i absolutely cannot get rid of mainly because they're just a staple for me um lately i've been really into high top shoes as you guys may have noticed from everything here but these are like i'm never getting rid of these they are amazing i also have guys this shoe this shoe just reminds me of like the beginning of my like serious not serious, but like serious YouTube career. These are my Jack Purcell Converse and I got these because I saw them on Selena Gomez and they looked so stinking cute. I just like needed to know what sneakers those were. I was surprised that they were Converse because they look quite like different than like your typical Converse, but these are so cute. I'm never getting rid of these. I think that they're great. They're really, really comfortable and they are like slightly a little bit like preppier than all the shoes that I have. So for a certain vibe and look, I think that these are great. Let me show you guys some of my fun Converse and these were actually all gifted to me by Converse. So thank you Converse for sending these to me, but these, Guys, these are the Run Star Hikes. They are so cool. They were originally a collaboration with the designer J.W. Anderson. However, Converse reissued them just under their label alone. So these aren't the J.W. ones, but these are just like the plain Run Star Hikes and they come in black and white. And they are so cool, guys. They look like tiny dinosaurs on my feet. Like they are so adorable. Um, yeah, I have nothing bad to say about these. I love a good platform sneaker and these just give you like the perfect amount of height. I cannot wait till there's warmer weather out so I can wear these with like little like cut off shorts or like dresses and stuff like that. They are so dope. And then I wore these. Um, these are probably the most recent pair of Converse that I have. And um, we actually were all sent these for our trip to Miami. Um, a while ago and they are these leopard logo play high top converse they are so so cute you would think that leopard would be like super crazy and you can't wear it that much but like you can like wear these with literally everything like we wore these like all the time during our trip and they're so cute guys like this is like the most adorable shoe ever like i love this and um they're actually on sale right now on urban outfitters i believe um i saw that on Haley's and sarah's stories so i'm gonna try to link them the best that i can but they are so cute. Um, I I have nothing to say, but they're just cute. We're moving on to a brand that you may have not seen here, but I wear quite a bit. And um, I think people are gonna ask me if I don't mention it, it's Adidas. I just don't have any of my shoes here. They're all at like my family home. But the two that really stand out for me that I haven't worn in a while, but like they're amazing and definitely I would consider them still part of my collection because I still technically have them, is my Adidas Stan Smiths, which are just like a super classic. They were so like hyped up in 2015. I remember them being completely sold out. It was really hard for me to get a, like my hands on a pair. And 
They're so, so great. I wore them with like literally everything, every styling video. They just go with everything. They're so comfortable. And I would say probably would be a little bit more suitable for a wide foot because the toe box is a little bit more round versus like narrow, like some of the other shoes I have here. So if you have a wide foot, Probably head on over to Adidas because I personally find that their sizing is a little bit bigger. NMDs, guys. I remember NMDs were so hyped up, which is why I had to get a pair when I was in Hawaii back in 2017. I wear these strictly for like more like working out now. Um, and they're my like designated workout shoe when I'm up like hanging out with like my mom and whatever. But they are just so comfortable. I will never get rid of these. I got them in like this like green and pink combination and they are so pretty. I love them and I'll have them for a really long time. And then I forgot, I said two, but there's actually three. The third shoe I have is the Adidas Superstar. It's just that classic sneaker from Adidas with the three stripes. I wore them like a ton when I first got them. I actually got them on sale on Aritzia at the time. So I think they were like 60 bucks. So just really, really inexpensive for those shoes. But you can also get them in kid sizing if you have tiny feet. This is the only like ethical and transparent um, brand of sneaker that I have in my collection right now and it is Everlane. You guys know that I've collaborated with Everlane in the past and I've actually been I've actually been so lucky to be gifted a few of their shoes. I love the Everlane treads guys. They are so comfortable. I know a lot of people have questions about them because they're a little bit apprehensive trying out a brand of a sneaker that they don't like that they aren't like super familiar with but Everlane treads guys but like they are the tread by Everlane. I have them in this off-white color. They are so comfortable. Wore these all over New York. They are so amazing. Um, and they're just like a preppier sneaker that you can easily dress up because they like they look a little bit more like classy. You know what I mean? Like they're just really, really cute. I got them in the gum sole. They're so pretty, but they have so many different colors, so many different styles like of the same shoe. And these are really, really good. I like them so much that I got them in a different colorway. And they are these Everlane treads with the suede and then the navy detailing. These remind me of a New Balance sneaker that I do not own and is really sold out. So that's why I picked these up, but they are so comfortable. Like I love them. I can't recommend them enough. Would I spend my own money on them? Absolutely. Okay guys, we have moved on to the most exciting shoes. These, my friends, are all of like my designer collab shoes. So I don't have Balenciaga's I don't have Saint Laurent's. I don't have anything like super, super high end. I don't have those like arch light Louis Vuitton shoes. I love all those personally. I just like, I don't know. I just like haven't had the desire to like, you know, bite the bullet and actually buy them. But I do love all the designer club shoes I have here. And they all just so happen to be Converse. The first pair I have is one that I purchased at Nordstrom and they are the Comme des Garçons Play Converse sneakers. So this is the same silhouette as the Chuck 70s with like the same off-white sole and everything, except these ones have like the classic Comme des Garçons logo on them. They are so fun. I've wanted these for so long, but unfortunately I haven't worn them as much as I would have liked to, mainly because at one point I did step in dog poo in these and I just like couldn't get over that and had to clean them really well. But they're really, really cute. So this pair was actually gifted to me by Converse once again. They are the Converse Faith Connection collab. Faith Connection, I believe, is a French designer. Um, I'm not too sure about that, but I'm pretty sure. Um, but these are so cool. They remind me of like Golden Goose sneakers because of the distressing and they're Converse One Stars. So I don't have any Converse One Stars in my collection. These are so cute. Like um, they came with two different color laces and I decided to alternate them because I just personally thought that'd be fun. Um, these are just like a really good chill shoe. And yeah, if they're on like StockX or something, I'll try to link them, but I don't think they sell these anymore. I could be wrong, but they're great. And then the last shoe. Okay, I think I must have told this story in one of my hauls, um, but basically I knew I was getting a package from Converse and this was my first package from Converse ever. I think that Converse just launched the platform Converse at the time and I remember a bunch of girls were getting these low top white platform Converse and when they emailed me saying they wanted to send me a pair of Converse, I was super excited because I thought I was getting those and like, I don't know. And then we headed on over to our PO box, Dylan opened the package and literally, he pretty much almost peed his pants <laughs> because this is the box that I got in the mail. And when you see those quotes, you know that there's something good inside. These are guys, the off-white Vulcanizer Converse. And this is the last pair that Virgil Abloh did for his original 10 Nike collaboration because Converse is owned by Nike. So the last pair he did was a pair of Converse. Guys, these are like actually the most beautiful shoe. It came with another set of laces. Actually, I think there's a green pair in here too. 
Oh yeah. They came with like all the laces, all the shoe laces. <laughs> I will never have another more beautiful pair of shoes like this unless Converse wants to hook me up and send me another pair. But these are so pretty. Um, I just like never wear these mainly because they are so valuable to me. I have a hard time like, like wearing things that are just like super valuable in my head, especially things that I wouldn't necessarily buy on the resale market. Like these originally I think were $200 if you were lucky enough to like get a lottery and like purchase them orig like originally from like a shoe store or whatever. But if you get these at like Flight Club or one or like one of those places, um, last time my mom checked because she was in New York and saw these on resale, they were fifteen or sixteen hundred dollars US, which is like absolutely insane right now, especially with our Canadian dollar. And it really varies depending on the size that you get. They're stunning. Oh my god, I didn't even realize like the converse on the back is upside down too. This is so beautiful, and I'm just so happy I got these. This was definitely. A nice taste into the hype sneaker world like these are these are amazing and I will treasure these forever I will wear these when I'm 80 that's probably when I will actually put them on my feet when I'm like 80 I'm a, I'm a little old lady with my off white shoes okay guys that wraps up my sneaker collection hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know which is your favorite pair or your like go-to pair of sneakers I would absolutely love to know if you guys want to see more of these styled on my Instagram I would love to have you over there so come and say hi and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye guys.